Alright, world. I don't know if anybody is woke up out there with me. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Okay. Well, today is uh, the last day here at this home. Tomorrow we'll be closing and be moving on to the property. My goodness, as you can see, there's a lot of work over here. <laughs> there's a whole lot of work to be done over there. So, by going back and re, uh, having a chance to see things uh, through a new perspective again, by being back over there looking and seeing, uh, it'll probably be about another two weeks before we actually put anything into the ground because we need to get it ready. We need to get our compost pile ready. We need to get the woods cleaned out. We need to get tools. I mean, we've got a lot of work to do over there. But uh, I'm uh, ready for the challenge. Um, my wife is ready for the challenge. Um, yeah. So yesterday we had a, we had a very good day. Uh, I feel like we got a lot of things done. We got all the laundry, uh, laundry done yesterday. But guess what? This morning we said, hey, we forgot to wash the sheets and the blankets. I mean, the sheets and the, yeah, the sheets and the blankets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was right. And uh, so we have to do that this morning. Um, we're going to pack up uh, sometime in the mid-afternoon. We'll be, hmm, sometime in the mid-afternoon, we'll be uh, packing up the washer and the dryer. And um, some uh, chairs and maybe a few more things, but um, yeah. So we gotta pack, pack, uh, put our first load on the truck uh, today. Um, wash these sheets, take the dogs out. Uh, you wash the dogs today. Yeah, we gotta give the the dogs a bath day because we want to make sure that they're flea. Free when we move into, <laughs> when we move into our house, we don't want no fleas, okay? We don't want no fleas on the dogs. We want our mm -hmm. dogs to be fleet free when we move over there. So we gotta watch the dogs. Uh, man, oh, I was sleep in the middle of the night. I don't know what uh, my sister got going on in her life, but uh, in the middle of the night, we were already sleep. I don't know what time it was. She came knocking on the door, like what the. You know, uh, the dogs went crazy. That's what woke me up because the dogs went crazy. I said, "Oh man, we got a robber. We got we got a robber coming over here. Somebody gonna have to get beat up and attacked." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wouldn't condone you beating up. I'm not condoning people beating up people and attacking people. I'm just saying, if it was a robber, he was gonna get beat up <laughs> and attacked. <laughs> So it was my it was my sister. I don't know what she was uh, thinking. I think it was about probably one or two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. She came stumbling in, in my door. Mm -hmm. uh, for anybody out there, I hope you have a little bit more respect. Um, anyway, we had a good day with my nephew. My nephew enjoyed the enjoyed the trip to the house, and we can't really can't wait for tomorrow so we can start moving in. But yeah, we're right. We're right on uh, on time, right on target, man. We getting old, we get things done, man. We got a little bit more work to put in over here, man. And a little bit, few more things to pack, man. But we're gonna pack, man. Pack bad, pack bad, Jones. <laughs> oh man, I know you people out there saying, how does this guy wake up first thing in the morning and put a smile on his face? Well, I gotta tell you, first thing in the morning when I wake up. I'm actually very uh, happy to wake up in the morning. I, I feel blessed when I wake up in the morning because one thing I know is a lot of people go go to sleep at night and they don't wake up in the morning. They don't get a chance to wake up in the morning and, you know, continue on and see what, what could their life become. Because that's really what waking up in the morning is. It's another opportunity for you to see what you can become, uh, how you, what position you can put yourself in if you wake up the next day to continue on to elevate yourself. So 
I get I get excited when I wake up in the morning. Uh, my wife keep making hand gestures behind me, telling me to stop uh, rambling. She's like, "Oh, you're rambling too much." She got a hand signs and she throwing get my wife throwing gang signs behind the camera. She behind the camera. She got gang signs being thrown up. Talk about time limits and stuff. <laughs> because you talking about how you always rambling, and we gotta make two videos every single day. Yeah, I know. I be, I be holding the make. It's it's my fault that we're putting out two videos. I want you to know that. I admit it though. I mm -hmm. admit it that I ramble a lot. I admit it, mm -hmm. and I even admit it in the videos because I don't. You know, I, I don't want to start out with, you know. Being on the camera and then being a liar. I don't want to start out being a liar, so I go ahead and admit it. Yeah, I do ramble. I ramble a lot, but you know, so what? This is this is like this is our blog. It's our blog. So if I ramble, if I ramble, so what? Sue me. <laughs> Take me to court. <laughs> Judge Joe Brown. <laughs> oh, man. Hey guys. Uh, uh, I don't know what what uh. I guess uh, after we pack the truck, I don't know if we watching the dogs. You get to see that. We'll show you some footage of the watching the dogs. Scrub, scrub, scrub. We'll show you when the truck is uh, packed. Uh, no, we'll, we'll have some more footage. Man, we gotta go pick up some uh, some steak and some wine because that's what my wife wants. When we close tomorrow, we. Finish cleaning up over there at the end of the day when we're done with everything. My wife wants steak and wine. And so we got to go get that today because uh, uh, for people who know anything about steak and know how to do steak real good, you got to marinate it the day before. You got to. It's got to be marinating for a day for it to just be mm, good. T-bone real good. Real good. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we'll get back in a minute. I don't know how long this was, but uh, we'll, we'll be back shortly with our next clip. And uh, I hope you guys enjoying and having a good time. I hope if you're watching this, then I put a smile on your face. Really, that's what I really hope, that I put a smile on your face, man. Learn how to take yourself less serious, because I used to take myself too, too serious. Now, I know how to lighten up a little bit and have a smile. It took me years to be able to do that, and that's, that's uh, something... That I hope I can do for you guys. I hope I can put a smile on your face. Alright, see you in a minute. Well guys. We are. Packing things up today. Alright. Ooh, you done started recording already? Yeah. Okay. I gave them a little introduction about how we started packing things up today. Oh, you already said about us packing stuff up? Yeah, we already done started packing stuff up. Uh, so, uh, if, if you have watched, but I don't know who watching, then you know the other day we changed the oil. Well, we can't leave this property with all this oil out here. And uh, <clears throat> since we're living in the country, right now we're just moving we're living into uh the uh city country it's not really the country but we call it the country only because why do we call it the country i don't know because it's, it's secluded a, it's a little secluded small small city it is a city where we're at and we're actually as you can see if you watched yesterday uh as i found a walk through in our house we're really moving to the country um but this is a it's smaller than normal cities, and that's why we call it the country. But one good thing about living in a smaller city is, like, we have this oil right here, and we don't have to go to city call, city hall, and uh, we don't have to go to the EPA before we can dispose of the oil. Now, if you live in a major city, definitely would not recommend doing this. I definitely wouldn't re recommend burning oil in a in a major city. For one reason, the fines, my, go and look up the fines for burning oil in a major city. So basically all it would take is for you to have a neighbor who doesn't like you or something like that, and you back there burning anything, 
and next thing you know, you have a fire marshal or you have somebody uh, pulling up to inspect your fire, making sure that uh, you don't have something like oil in your fire so they can tax you about a thousand to three thousand dollars for burning uh, uh, ten, twenty dollars worth of oil. They'll find you about a thousand, anywhere from a thousand to three thousand dollars. But since we're back here in a smaller city and uh, we have space in between the people that we live there's there's plenty of space from everybody who around us um also um since my wife started recording while i wasn't around i saw when i turned around i saw she was swiveling the camera because the other day when we described with the and showed the side yard and the uh front yard we didn't get a chance to show the backyard so i'm pretty sure you got a chance to look at the backyard and got to see that it's a decent sized backyard so what we got going on right now is we about to start this burn process. As you can see, there's wood scattered all around in this yard. We can't leave it like this. Why we can't leave it like this? Because we didn't receive it like this. So this is something else you got to know when you're, when you're changing locations and you're moving is you always want to leave the property the way you got it, the way you got that property. And yeah, take a look. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Who's going to be mad at me? Who's gonna be mad? I know somebody out there who's watching this is gonna be crying, you bastard! I can't believe you freaking did that! I know, I know it's wrong, I, I know, I know, I know. Get over it, live your life, but it's gotta be done. This this oil has to be uh, disposed of. And uh, uh, check out my feet. Don't do this, I'm telling you that this is wrong. Do not do this if you're burning on your property. Do not come and burn on your property with fuck, with uh, flip flops on. Now I know better. I know I shouldn't be doing this. Okay, I know that, and uh, I want to tell you how to do the right thing and not the wrong thing. Cause right now, I'm wrong, and I'm gonna tell you I'm wrong, and uh, you don't do the same thing. I know that's like one of them stories where they like. Oh, you, you want to tell somebody not to do wrong, but you doing wrong? What is wrong with you? I know. I know. I know. I'm a jerk. Yeah, I know. That's all good. That's all good. Well, hopefully that'll get to burning in a second. But we got to burn. We got so much wood over here to burn. We got piles over there. We got, uh, look at all that wood we got to burn. And we only got today and tomorrow to get it burning. So what we're going to do is because we have so many other things to do today is that we are gonna get it started burning and uh, we just gonna keep an eye on it and that stuff burns up. We are gonna add more stuff and make sure this fire just keeps going all day, continuously burning wood. Uh, I don't have any gloves, so as it turns into ash at the bottom, you know, it's not like we'll be uh, uh, tipping it over to dump the wood out. No, nah, it ain't gonna go down like that. It'll just have a whole bunch of ashes at the bottom and new uh, wood at the top until it's pretty much filled up. And uh, we're gonna keep it burning all day. Now we might not be able to burn everything up over here, but we'll have it looking better than it is right now. Because like I said, when you leave a property, okay, we've been renting here for about three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've been renting here. The, um, like I said, it's, it's only $600 a month to rent here. And so that's made it pretty easy on our life to be able to rent. And when we received this property, it was it was like new. So, and then we haven't done any damages. The things that we did to uh, mitigate uh, damages of the home is, one, we never wore shoes in the house. We didn't wear any shoes in the house because we knew that this wasn't our permanent residence. So we didn't want to wear shoes in here and cause damage to the property. We wanted to keep the property in as good as condition as possible because we knew at some point we will be leaving the property. Okay, and so some of the stuff has already caught fire. It's already catching fire. It's gonna start spreading soon. Uh, yeah, it's doing it's doing it's doing its thing. So it just needs a little more time to catch. We're gonna light another piece up. We poured oil on this other piece and we're gonna get this this carpet going to help help get this burn going. It's nice today. Yeah it is actually pretty it's pretty decent today. Goodness, that thing wants to take off. It wants to take off. That's what it wants to do. And the wind is blowing pretty hard. 
it didn't really get the uh, in there the way I wanted it to. So. so I don't know how much of a uh, fire that we could post. Uh, I know we pretty much uh, got got enough information on this video, so you got to see the start. And uh, uh, I guess we'll be back as it gets to burning a little bit better. So until the next clip, guys, be safe. Think about progressing your life, and uh, we'll be back shortly when it when it gets burning really well, and also with some of our other things. We'll also show you what all we got packed. Uh, after we finish packing the washer and dryer, but we still got a few more things we need to wash in the washer and dryer before we pack it. But in the next few hours, that's gonna be that's gonna be packed and out the way I want it because though the washer and dryer and the refrigerator uh, are pretty much the heaviest things that we have in the house. Am I missing something else that was a heavy item? The washer, the dryer, the refrigerator, and what else was something that was heavy? Was it um, the dresser? Dresses aren't too bad. The washer and dryer and the refrigerator are the heaviest three items we have in our home. Yeah. So, you know, we want to knock the washer and the dryer out today because the washer and dryer are the heaviest things. Mm -hmm. They're heavier than they're heavier than the uh, they're heavier than the refrigerator, and so uh, that's the most important. We'll probably have the refrigerator out on Wednesday, um, but yeah. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. They won't get the job then? Mm -hmm. Hell no. Hell no. Look at the size of this phone. They want $199. Well, that's alright. The one one we need, we need to go to a... Uh, Harbor another, Freight? Nah. Not Harbor Freight. Uh, we need to go to another big box. Something something uh, bigger than, than here. Hey guys. Uh, we're, at the, we're at the hardware store. I know you see us come here a lot. Um, that's because we...